one way clutch, three wheels, locks up. Thrust needle bearing. This is the forward drum, or it's also first gear. You put your car in drive and take off, and this drum is engaged which gives you first gear. These are spacers, thrust washers. Okay, I know they're called washers. I call them washers. I'm a Floridian, what can I say? Inside these drums you have a piston with return springs also. These are beautiful. It's like I can just put this transmission back together. Clean it, wash it. And get a little deeper in there. This is the planetary cover. Blind. This is the gear reduction for first gear. And now we've got to get in here and get the snap ring out. There it is. Can't find my pick. snap ring I was trying to get out. Planetary gear, but as usual, it's a little tight to get out. South is we take a old input shaft from another 350 pin. Stick it down in here. Hold on and pull. Gears, as they're called, bushings in there. Another thrust washer. This way. Next thing is the input. light on it so we can see. We have to go in here and get this snap ring out. So we have a screwdriver with a little hook ground into it. We can grab that snap ring. 
pull it right out. Now, we have to get the rest of these pieces out. And the way you do this is you're going to take the transmission and push hard against the back output shaft to pop everything out. We just have to use our snap ring pliers to push up against the anti-clunk spring so we're able to clear the anti-clunk spring that's in here so we're able to clear the lug in the case. Take our snap ring pliers, get them in here, to push against the anti-clunk spring, I don't know if you can see that, but here we go. Terry cover off. The gears are in great condition. Our rear planetary gear. This is our other gear reduction. Combined with the front one for second gear. how these pieces go together. Fit on here, just like that. Very smooth operation. This is one more set of clutches. These are called the low reverses. They're on two times in the transmission, actually three. They're on, come on in reverse in conjunction with the high reverse drum to give you reverse gear. These also come on two times. When you put the transmission into manual low, you get this set of clutches and the forward clutches for manual low, so you got twice the pulling power in manual low gear. And again, these clutches have no wear on them. They look like the day I put them in. This is the center support, which in the center of the case supports the weight of the other pieces to help take some of the weight off of the uh, um, bushings that are in each of the units of the pieces. Free wheels one way, locks the other way. That's why it's called a one-way clutch. And when you're in regular drive taking off in first gear, this is locked so you get first gear reduction. I'll show you what a one-way clutch looks like. We're going to take out this center piece. Check it for any wear. Looks good. And here is a one-way clutch. What it is, it's a roller with a spring. And inside here where the roller and spring fit, it's tapered. So it free wheels because it goes in further then the piece riding on it allows it to freewheel. And when it pushes out, it's got a, it comes out more, so it allows it to lock up. And we just put this back in here, like that, and we're good. Okay, this unit is in beautiful condition. And back in here, we have one more part, a couple pieces, another piston, the low reverse piston, and the return springs for low reverse. So basically, we're going to do a fresh up on this unit. Uh, all new gasket seals, set of new clutches, thrust washers, new governor gear. 
the governor gear, it controls the shift. Little, little valve in there. And this valve locks up, it gets clogged up with metal, cause transmission not to shift. This also can give you a firmer shift by changing the springs in here. And putting different weights. It's a weight. It's a spun as you're driving. Okay, and that is a turbo hydromatic 350 by Chevrolet, broken down.